Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard Nimos, especially if you are watching from Tanzania and South Africa with national interests at heart. What is happening is the last match in the round of 64 in this ongoing mega Grand Michana Open Pool Championship of 128 men from all over Africa. All of the most active black ball playing nations in Africa and all of the most active black ball playing players on the continent are gathered here to compete for cash prizes with the number one taking 5,000 US dollars tomorrow. The players on table are Dao from Tanzania. He's the guy on table wearing the Zanzibari shirt taking on South Africa's Aiden Joseph. They are racing tonight. My name is Peter Chebe. Once again, welcome to the stream and live commentary will be proceeding very, very shortly. The noise in the background is largely Tanzanian. They are supporting their guy, Dao. He's giving a good account of himself in the match so far. Remember that Zanzibar is an island. In the Indian Ocean, very near Tanzania. In fact, I'm not very sure if Zanzibar is very independent of Tanzania, though an independent country it is. Unfortunately, Tao obeyed misses what should really have been a frame winning shot. He is about to learn that this is exactly the kind of player against whom you do not give away an opponent you had to win the match. In the meantime, Aiden's attempts to open up the red ball is not very successful. What can he do here? Either double or cushion drive goes for the double in a defensive mode. Very good shot. You definitely have a reason to learn something every time Aiden is playing. He made it so simple. The intention was never to put that red, but for the white ball to bounce off the cushion in a follow motion with a spin on it and the pack exactly where it is. And yet his opponent, Dao Abed, responds with an equally good shot, putting his yellow ball off the cushion. It is him against the black. He looks like a very good shooter. It's my first time seeing him, this guy, on the black. 
He does not sink it in. There is very, very little space between the jaw of the cushion, the jaw of the pocket, and the black ball. If Eden is very, very, very accurate, he can maybe displace that black ball, but it's, it's very, very, very risky. It has to be millimeter perfect as a shot. No room for error. Maybe the best you can do is probably to try a double shot. But that option, according to his body language of trying to utilize that little space, in my opinion, is very, very risky. This is him going for a double in the center and misses. Dao Obed representing Tanzania from Zanzibar Ports and now leads 1-0 According to the scoreboard on the top left of your screen, the scores on the left are for Dao Obeid of Tanzania and on the right are Aiden Joseph scores of South Africa. No names on the scoreboard, it is the respective national flags of these players. Tower bait to break. Balls are well split, but he does not pot. Eden won his first match this morning. It was a thump 7 0, but he, has, he did not face an opponent as clinical as we have seen Dow obeyed at least in the first frame. It's my first time seeing him, but I cannot shy away from the fact that I am impressed with his level of play. Eden with the table closing shot. He does so. Closes the table on yellow, but the white management is not really up to it. He is not as clinical as his he made his made us used of seeing him. Just how he ended up snookering himself with the six options of the yellows to his level is not acceptable. Advantage Dao Bait. It's not the first 
or the second time Eden is playing here at Michana the first time was in the second leg of the tour of East Africa when he was done with Uganda and came to Kenya played a series of money matches including against Ben one also against Damian Overton twice actually and then against Caesar in that very 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 famous match in which he lost by a decider in pretty much the same circumstances in which he lost the first leg of the battle with Caesar it's one frame played so far and yet we have already hit the 600 mark supporting African pool by way of according our players the much needed publicity thank you for investing in time and data bundles moral support needed by these players when they are showcasing their talents to the world it is very 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 inspiring when their programs their competitions are assured of viewership by none other than you sport is nothing without fans sport is nothing without media thank you very much Aiden on the yellows he will want to play to put in the center and open up the match the game in some kind of way that shot is not good at all the Tanzanian fans treat him to the noise. He has demonstrated before that he can win with or without support. He can win whether he has fans or whether fans are for his opponents. I do not think anyone, any African player has ever played in an environment as in the first match of Eden and Caesar in Kampala. Around 1,000 plus people who had paid to flock the venue of Tikos and Jigos were all supporting one person, Aiden, who only had one fan with him, that is Rivaldo, his teammate, and yet he was able, against all odds, against a very exceptional player in Caesar, to win the last five frames, coming back from 16-20 to win 21-20. This time, Tao Abed is not willing to take any of that. He seems like an able shooter who wants to maximize this moment to gain recognition as a top shooter in himself. How effective will this shot be? He has snookered himself, very unfortunate. Tower bed finds the angle, but when Eden is the one playing, you think that it is him with. An advantage to win his body language. I think Eden has already sensed that he's up for a fight, that he's up against a very good opponent, and that he will not take Dawa Bait down as easy as he did in the morning against Farouk, the Kenyan. This time Dao Beg does not only find the angle, he snookers his opponent. Hear the noise, hear the chance. No one but Tanzanian players and fans supporting one of their own against Africa's best. Aiden finds the angle almost spotted but did not this game is pretty much finishable by Dawa Bait
as long as Dao comes himself down, he will put this ball and white for black will come naturally, as naturally as that. Very impressive so far, Dao. Sorry for the guys, the referee standing in front of the camera. What I will tell you is that Dao has potted his second black of the day in a race to seven and leads to zero. Aiden is being slaughtered at least for now. He is in very, very, very unfamiliar territory. It is very rare to see him subjected to this kind of treatment both on table and in the fans section, maybe even in the comments section. In the meantime, as we close in on the 1K mark watching live, I do appreciate myself as Peter Chobe, the efforts the, of you people who always spare some time and precious data bundles of your money to watch our talents as they showcase their game live. It is very, very crucial. That is very good for the sport. As a person, I do request you that every time you watch these games, not on Facebook, but on my YouTube channel, that is Peter Chewe Live YouTube, please do not skip the ads. Please watch them as the only support you can accord to myself as a person and the only assurance that these and more videos shall keep coming live. Thank you very much, my fellow commentator, Paul Ojambo, also known as Paul is taking you through the next session of the match. Thank you so much, Chobe Life. We are right here at the heart of Nairobi City, Chanapa Mangren, witnessing talent versus talent. This is an interesting match. Tatsana Abid against arguably Africa's finest best player Alan Joseph from South Africa so this one is Tanzania against South Africa it's a big moment wow so many top matches Zambians are playing that side Mofia is playing against Tanzania that side on this side Kenya is playing against an opponent from another country the other side, I see Kenya playing against. Wow, I'll let you know. The crowd is so ecstatic, it's so noisy, it's becoming very big. And remember, the stakes are very high. The stakes are very high. So I think uh, the game has just been stopped a little bit just to control the Tanzanians. They remember, there's so many, almost 80 of them here, almost 100. They're making so much noise. So I think they're interfering also with the concentration of the opponent, which is Jaden Joseph. So I think uh, there's some short uh, stoppage in the match just to, to control, because we believe in justice in sports. We believe in fairness. So interruption noise, that is not talent. So that's why the match has temporarily stopped. That's for the security and officials to come down there South, I mean, sorry, the Tanzanians. Still two zero, ladies and gentlemen, between Abed Dao representing Tanzania, originally from Zanzibar. Taking on South Africa's Aiden Joseph. In a rare turn of events, Aiden pulls out part B of his own approach to, this, to the game and slows down the game. The table is still open. I think Eden is playing the Reds. We are at Michana Pub and Grill, Long Road, Nairobi, Kenya.
All eyes on Abed, all eyes on Aden, all eyes on Michana, all eyes on Africa. It will be the story of the night in case Aden is to lose to Dao Obeid. The news is that the winner of this match will not have it any easy going forward because the next opponent for them is Ibrahim Sejemba of Uganda. In the meantime, the gentleman in Aiden Joseph, he committed a foul with hardly anyone watching, including the umpire, and he reported himself. That is very, very commendable of Aiden. Dao Bain with the white ball in hand. He's choosing to use the free shot to put the best ball of Aiden Reds, Aiden's Reds. We are now good to go. Action after action, how do you see the game progressing, coach? My brother, my namesake, Chobe Live, Peter. I'm also called Peter. Poge stands for Peter Osiko Jovando. So this is very interesting. The African best player is trailing 2-0 against the Tanzanian. I wonder how this is going to unfold. But remember, it's a race to nine. So it's still too early to call. It's still too early to call. So, but let's see. But the Tanzanian person, the boy, Abed, is giving a, a good account of himself, which is the... The ultimate. Uh, wow! Sorry, I was just about to see that shot. I thought it was bucket. <laughs> this is crazy. This is hot. Wow! Yes, yes, yes. I think uh, security will do that. Since it's made to play. But the Tanzanians have all of a sudden. All, all right, we just getting information that since it was meant to play on the table adjacent here, but he's complaining. Too many Tanzanians are making so much noise there, and I think uh, the security, I think the management will uh, will consider it because he's a, he's, a, he's a current world champion. He has his respects, he has his credentials, and apparently it's only fair. We accord him that. So I think the management is consulting, security is consulting, so that they know the way forward. Meanwhile, Adam Joseph, zero, a bit from Tanzania, two, very interesting, but remember it's a race to nine. So it's still too early to, to write off somebody. And the ghost, as few people know the ghost, it is possible. You can do any shot. You can do anything. You can manipulate the table. It's a dangerous player, especially when cornered. And I'm seeing a possibility him feeling cornered here. So I'm anticipating he'll unleash the ghost. But here we are. We are hoping for the best. We are just seeing may the best player win. Thank you everybody for watching. Whether you're watching from South Africa. Oh, it's a scratch. It's a scratch. It's a scratch. The Tanzanians, oh, I'm telling you, they're noisy. <laughs> this place is hot. The Tanzanians are insisting they must get Aaron Joseph out of the way. They must be turned because remember, they still have other players. Uh, Kobalo is still on. Baraka is still on. Dula is still on. And I'm telling you, one thing they know, the danger man, the ghost himself, if as long as he's on the way, they can never be sure. So according to the Tanzanians, they believe if Adam Yosef gets out of this tournament, they have a big chance to win. But remember, they still, the Ugandans are around. The Zambians are still there. Mafia, Mafia is still in the race. Mafia is a dangerous player, dangerous player. So, 
the, and the Kenyans as well. Kenyans are still having their top players on the tournament. Ethiopia has one dangerous player still on the tournament. I'm telling you, Zimbabweans, you can't write them off. Matovu is still in the tournament. Top, top player. Sakala is in the tournament. This is so early to call. And remember, Senzo himself, the current world champion, is still in the tournament. So this is massive. This is crazy. It's, it's unpredictable. The only thing I can advise, just keep watching. So you be the judge. In the words of my good friend, Evan Sokacha, from Kakamega Pool Association, pool players, he always says, what a moment to be alive. This is the moment to be alive, to witness such a great opportunity, the talent. It's a big, big moment in sports. Q sports. Specifically pool. It's becoming noisy here. It's becoming crazy here. We are struggling so much because we have to whisper. Because we are next to the players. We cannot talk loudly. And here we are. The Tanzanians are making so much noise. And uh, we have to have balance. So just keep it under control. Because we have to do our best. We have to balance between shouting and ensuring we don't interfere with the game. So then. And then Joseph, last shot. Look at that 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 shot, ladies and gentlemen. I told you this is the ghost. This is the ghost. Probably he's has started to unleash the ghost. This is the ghost. This is a dangerous player. This is a dangerous player. This comes circumstances. He's used to them. He's played for so many years. He's played so many races. He's played so many under different circumstances, both good and bad. And this, I think this is one of them. Because the crowd is very volatile. The Tanzanians are making so much noise. Remember, Kenya and Tanzania are their neighbors. So there's so many fans. So many people came from Tanzania. Big people, small people, they came here. This place is very noisy. Let us see all the Tanzanians. And apparently, very interesting. They're making noise in Kiswahili. Remember, Kiswahili is the official language in Tanzania. So, and the Kenyans, the official language is English. No, I don't understand. But the Kenyans, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think they will rather go with the Tanzanian. But the, I can see from, from my perspective, they are yet to decide who to support in this one. On one side, they want maybe the Tanzania to go through because maybe believe it's, it could be better uh, in the front of the game. I mean, uh, as the matches progress, and all around they say, Adam Joseph is a quality player, so why, why not wish him well? But it's complicated, it's a complex perspective, very complex. We have so let's see here in the commentary desk, Chobe Life. We can only say, may the best player win. And that is what sports is all about. This is frame number four. Tanzania, a bit two, South Africa, and then Joseph one. Come on, come on.
Just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, top top blockbusters are almost current currently going on. We have Odong from Uganda will be is currently I think they are playing now versus Nikosi from South Africa. Mansu Muto, my good friend. Oh, versus Glorious, another good friend. Oh my friend, this is hot. And then Caesar versus Alfred. This is very interesting. Remember, from here we are wrapping up race two. I mean, uh, the best 32 players. So tomorrow we start with 32 players, and then uh, we move to the next level. What a top player, good player in this guy from Tanzania. He's doing his best. Backed up with a, a very one-sided crowd. Very one-sided crowd. The Tanzanians. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I feel for him. I feel for him. He does all the donkey work and then coming to the easiest shot. He misses it. So it's very, very unfortunate for the Tanzanian player. I used to think the Ugandans are noisy. I'm telling you, the Tanzanians are noisier. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Look at that. Oh, a good try. But for this one, I suspect. For this one, I suspect. For this one, I suspect. Adam Joseph will, will wrap it up. Adam Joseph can, can, will not give it a chance. It will be too, too, in my opinion. Ahuko, who's going to be S. You are saying you want to watch Ondong, unfortunately. You can watch them, not unfortunate, but we have other streamers moving these gadgets to be live to the next table. It's not, it's not going to be easy. Because remember, this place is so packed. These equipments are very sensitive. So move them 50 meters away is a challenge. It might interfere. It might destroy. It might complicate matters going forward. Faraja Andrew, be respectful, Mr. Commentator to Tanzania. Sorry about that, but I'm just saying the truth. The noise these guys are making in Kiswahili here is unprecedented here. I've never heard such noise. I used to think the Ugandans are noisy. These Tanzanians are really noisy. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not a liar. I normally say the truth. Nyamu, Nyamu. You are saying Nyamu Ole Kachanja is saying Kenya supporting Tanzania. Of course, it is expected. It is expected. It is expected because you have an East Africa flag. And in my opinion, Tanzania belongs to East Africa. So sometimes this thing goes region against region. So probably, in most likely opinion, I'm telling you, I suspect most of the Kenyans will go the Tanzania way. But Adrian Joseph is a magic to watch. So 
some of the Kenyans will, will wish him to go forward so that they can they can they can enjoy his shots going forward so this thing is very ecstatic not controversial but it's the, the temperature the environment is just too much I'm just my friend <laughs> because uh, from South Africa is my friend just waving to me there this thing is crazy it's just crazy it's becoming hot the South Africans have took back I'm seeing Senzo I'm seeing Mekosi I'm seeing you know I'm seeing around 15 South Africans they just moved next to the table they want to counter the noise of the Tanzanians. So this thing is becoming very complicated, very interesting. Security is having a, a big day tonight. So I'm telling you, this is going to be a long night for the for the security. Because every time they have to stop the match a little bit, just to ensure that there's uh, common sense and this peace prevailing. Because sports is not about violence. Sports is not about intimidation. Sport is all about love, and sport is all about humanity, and sport unites us. Sport breaks bonds. Sport do do the impossible. Here we are, Saturday evening. We are watching Adam Joseph from South Africa against one of Tanzania's apparently. A surprise a bit from Tanzania. And I can see him wearing a Zanzibar, a Zanzibar, a Zanzibar t shirt. So, apparently, in my opinion, I can guess probably it's from Zanzibar. He's actually from Zanzibar, I think so. Because I can see he's wearing a big a t shirt written Zanzibar. So, I think Zanzibar, but Zanzibar is a part of Tanzania. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I thought, I think my guess may not be wrong. But here we are. This is finishable for him. For Arjun, this is finishable. I, I don't think he'll let it. I think he'll let it. And then the ghost is a ghost. A ghost is a ghost. So let's see. This is very interesting. Let's see what. If he finish this one, I think he might demoralize the Tanzania player. Because the Tanzania is, he knows he's playing against the top, top, top Africa player. So if Arjun Joseph goes ahead of him, it might be very, very complicated, and it might be nerves, boiling out of nerves, and the mentality, the framework of your mind, how your cognitive functions are framed to cope with the situation and the stress. So the Tanzanians are still making noise, but now they join. The South Africans are here. They have come around 15 of them. They are making more noise. We have around uh, 40, 50 Tanzanians, but uh, I can see around 12 or 13 or so times, I mean, uh, South Africans are making even more noise, more loud noise. <laughs> I think this thing, oh, what a moment to be alive. I just want to thank my almighty God for waking up, waking me up today morning, this Saturday, just to come and witness this talent display. It's talent against talent. Tanzania against South Africa. <laughs> Just um, we people must be from South Africa. He's saying it's a kind of making noise. I can assure you, I can I can take a screenshot. I can carry the Bible. The people making noise here are certainly the Tanzanians. And uh, they're around 50, they're around 30, 40, but they're making massive noise. Oh, what a shot from the Tanzanian. A, a portable yellow against an almost frozen black ball. This is massive. This is massive. This is massive. Yeah. Oh! It tried a shot to bring the cue ball somewhere reasonable, but unfortunately, unfortunately, 
I think the spending to go his way. But this is pool. He has around six pockets for that ball. It could go either way. It could go sorry, anywhere. I feel for this guy. What a shot. I feel for him. What a shot. What a shot. What a shot from this guy. No, I feel for him. He should have won this one. He should have won this one. I don't know. If I was the tournament director, I think I could have given him that. I could have given him that frame. That shot. That shot was massive. Chop a life. That shot was massive. Am I lying or wrong? Chop a life. That shot was massive. I have not seen in a long time a sharp pack at almost 90 degree angle and then someone cuts the ball against the cushion. It's Tobe, Aiden Joseph is finishing this. But going forward, uh, Tobe life. This big talent in East Africa. The, I, I have never seen a Dao or a bait, but he's very, very, very impressive. He's a very good player. I've only seen him for five games all my life, only these first five games, but I'm very impressed by his life. My first time to see this guy. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Where is he? Okay, I can see he's wearing a Zanzibar t-shirt, so I propose he's from Zanzibar, but I've never seen him, even on YouTube. I too have never seen him, not, not in the physical, not his game, but I, I, I just pray that the Tanzanians keep bringing him for each and every one of their tournaments. Chobe Life, sports keep surprising us. Sports keeping. Sports keeping. Just, just, just checking out. I don't know. <laughs> Even my friend here, my namesake, Chobe Life, my is not believing. The shot this Tanzanian is doing here, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I'm telling you. After this, we'll be we'll doing a replay on this when they do when they go for for probably a short break. We we have to we have to do that shot. That shot could be one of the. The best attempt shots in the tournament. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, that was a cut and a half. That was a cut and a half. It's still on the table. We don't know what to expect. But unfortunately, he's playing against the ghost. And you know the ghost is a ghost. But let's see. This is sporty full of surprises. Let's see. We hear you, Joseph Muzombo, and then Joseph Udira Masese, Kusera, Wonetome Tournament, Kuchalea, Mamoni, Game, Akawanda. Oh, which language is this? <laughs> but we're having fun. It's hot. It's getting hot, hot, and hotter. Stanford Shangwa watching at South Africa and I support my family guys South Africa Mwana Okay, let's move it on Jamada Kulelu enjoying this Luya Masani who is live? Chobe live? Soko live? Pool East Africa live? South Akaka Mega Pool Players Live, Francis Mkweke from Zambia Live. It's all here, right happening here at Mchana Papang Grill. The hut in the heart of Nairobi City, just next to opposite the Prestige Mall. Remember on the other table, Mansu is playing against Glorious, and so far Mansu, I think two and Glorious zero. But we'll give you more accurate updates in a short way. Watch it for that guy. Go Aden. Marco Dewitt. Welcome. May, the, may your player win. The environment, oh, I'm telling you, is ecstatic. It's uncontrollable. We have top security here. We have even policemen. I don't know whether this will call the Kenya Army because now this thing is becoming too much. It's hot. It's very hot. It's too much excitement. People are paying money to come here. But the excitement, oh no. Look at that guy, he's going to break. He's going to win it. Oh! 
Tanzania 3, South Africa 3. And then Joseph versus Abit from Tanzania. I'm just sitting next to a lady here, Kiruche. She's one of our Kenyan players on the lady side. Uh, Chenuche, what's your opinion on this? The pressure is getting worse. These people have brought their A game here. Yeah, they're not leaving each other. It's two, three, three, three. Okay. This is a very interesting game. In, in, in other words, it's too close to call. It, it is very, very, very close to call. And very competitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, very competitive. Everyone is. There's no easy shots. These guys are playing. These guys are playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you are, one of us, uh, uh, national team players from Kenya, the lady, Chelucho, is just giving her, us his how Pino that out. But the way she says it, you may never know who's going to win. This thing is too close to call. Very competitive. Oh, my friend. Even Adam Joseph is surprised. He never knew. He thought maybe the only Caesar is, is, is here. He never, I don't think he knew there's somebody else from Zanzibar, the island. So it's very interesting. Let's see how it goes. Cyber Monk, you said if Abid reaches three, is my hero. There he is, he's at three. <laughs> What more surprise do you expect? This is guy is crazy. Sick. Isaacmatic, you say? Short. Joseph Muzondo. Man Aden. Zaagos. For real. Tumbroi in North, you say? Aden just lucky. Kevin Chilando. I'm watching you from Zimbabwe, Zambia. Othiano, Caesar, Daniel, three games just given to Ghost in his hands. No hard work from Ghost. Steve Muturi, it's hot. Fa, Tiso, this is a good shooter, but somehow he's failing to manage the cue ball. And then we'll utilize the opportunity. Yusuf Mfiri, watching from Zambia. Deo Halix, but Harden can be beatable. The way he's playing, we don't know. What a shot, what a shot, what a shot from Abid. What a shot from Abid. Making it look possible. Making it look doable. As you can see, this is a race to nine. It's still three, three. So each player have, it's like a race to six. Let's watch. Oh, almost. Almost, almost, almost. I feel for him. Almost, almost. I feel for him. No. I think that's a good, that's almost a good recovery. But uh, with Adam Joseph, it could be finished. I knew he'll do that. And apparently, he's one of the believers in attack game. He's one of the believers. No safety pull. And I mean, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't go for the finish in this one. But it's okay. This is a game. The tension may be too much. Maybe he's feeling the pressure. He has to come down again with the game. But, and this is what should, have, should be happening sometimes. Sometimes, when you get a strong opponent, one strategy is to slow down the game so that the speed the speed goes down a little bit because if your opponent is an overtaking lane you may not get time to recover yes 
Juma Seiko, you are saying you're live from Toronto, Canada. Thank you. Cyber Monk, Spina Samurai. Oh, I know what that means. On Gom, that is the commenter for me. <laughs> Thank you. John Tombo, watching from Cape Town in Aden House. Oh, that's interesting. Manthi Wenko, Tanzania Ushindi. Must gay Dog City is playing next or not? We'll tell you. Ole Gajanja. Is this final? No, this is even not. It's not even top 32. This is not even the final. It tells you how hot this thing is going to be going for. The top 32 players will start playing 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then we expect the finals to be done at around 9.30 tomorrow so that people can go back to work on Monday morning. That is unlike Andrew Joseph. Tells you the pressure and the tension. Oh, Bogus, Eddie. Oh, yeah, no. Good one. Junior, watching from Lira in Caesar's home. That must be Gulu. I know Caesar comes from Gulu. Dorcia, Philemon, living from Mozambique. Joseph Henry, Aweboa, Tuarakuli, Prince Simbabjiwa, Neo, Regos, watching from Dubai. Thank you. Zwali, Mrs. Swesh, ghost, the ghost, the ghost. Madut, Bol, Kuendit, watching from my room. Aden, are you scared, bro? Tawanda Mboka says. John Dombo, I'm here also. I'm there also. <laughs> Welcome. Come here. I buy you a drink or you buy me a drink if you're around here. Sorry. This is hot. <laughs> I'm surprised. Chobele himself had to start. Had to start. Even playing the role of security. The South Africans, they are few. They are almost one tenth of the Tanzanians. But apparently, right now, they're making more noise than the Tanzanians. This thing could be worrying about noise against noise. But let's see. Let's see. These are top players. Apparently, from, uh, even the non person a bit from Zanzibar is a top player, apparently. They are capable of handling the pressure. They are capable of handling the pressure. I think so. They are capable. He has to roll that one. And then he called that downtown. <laughs> It's just starting to unleash the ghost. Remember the name, Aiden Joseph. Oh, you Let them go. <laughs> what is interesting? <laughs> the few South Africans against almost ten times. Oh! I feel for Aden Joseph. The easy part. Oh, I feel for Aden Joseph. I feel for Aden Joseph. The guy coming next to a screen in white tracksuit suit is from South Africa. He's too excited. So, and Chobe, like, Chobe himself, Peter, my friend, my brother, my namesake, has to keep pushing him outside, pushing aside. I'm telling you, the security is doing a lot of work here. But let's see. Ooh. 
that's a technical shot. That's a technical shot. But I wish you have won for the finish. Because Adam Joseph can be dangerous in difficult situations. Adam Joseph becomes more difficult in short and difficult. Let's see. This is a ghost. Let Tanzania win it. The Tanzania guy will take it. I'm telling you. A bit from Tanzania will take this frame. This thing is hot. This thing is massive. He'll take it. Oh. And remember, this guy is one, is, um, in my opinion, the best cutter. The best cutter in the tournament. He'll cut that one in. So, Adam Joseph will be three. The Tanzania Abid will be four. We told you people. We told you people. It has forced Rivaldo to come on board. <laughs> There's Rivaldo coming to check in his friend, long-term friend, his partner, his training partner. Rivaldo is coming to consult. I don't think it should be... Uh, it's interesting. Alan Joseph consulting Rivaldo. Rivaldo has come in. Remember, Rivaldo is cool. very noisy. Very, very noisy person. So the combination with noise of Rivaldo with the other noisy uh, South, uh, South Africans. It'll be too, too crazy, too hot. Already the temperatures are big, the temperatures are high. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chobe Life. Remember to tune in, subscribe to our channels. It's very massive blockbuster in the making. I'm just seeing Martin Mato, the tournament director. He's even shaking his head. He's just not believing what's going on. Mato, I know you're the boss of the tournament. You're the director. Yeah. You, what do you say? Is, this is unbelievable. I love the passion that the fans are, are showing. They are supporting their own. The, the, the Tanzanians, you can blame them. Eden is a superstar. Okay. Everybody wants to watch him. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we can understand for the moment. Mm. We let them watch it. Mm. Then after that, we are going to see how we are going to plan the other matches on the outside tables okay so that we only have the the, the big matchups so on table one tell me tell me Mato, the tournament director yes. uh, you expect uh, oh sorry not this guy and then you will win this one but going forward yeah. Mato, yes. uh, tomorrow 10 o'clock in the morning or 9 30 in the morning you'll most likely in your opinion start uh, uh what uh, Last of 32 or less? I'm hoping we'll start with a round of 16 tomorrow. Okay. But in case we don't finish, I'm hoping that we don't have more than three matches in the round of 32. Okay. So that we play round of 16, quarters, semis. Okay. Then we get our two players from the Grand Open to join Shujawa, Kenya. Okay. Then they play their semis mm -hmm. and they wait for their final just before the main final for the Grand Open. Yeah. And remember, and remember, Monday is a is a working working day. So I think you are doing your best to make sure it we doesn't finish early tomorrow. Exactly, yes. so that people can go take a rest for the Monday. And remember, the Monday evening, big blockbuster, and then Joseph versus Caesar. Part three. Oh, I'm telling you, part three is going to be massive. Thank you, thank you, director. Thank you, thank you so, thank you so much. Keep slay out to keep young. Watching from Botswana, Capron, David Jeru, Poch, two white cap on me. Please, David, I need them. Buy me, I'll send you a till number just now and you'll give it to me. Ignatius Kiprono, watching from Kenya. Thank you. Five ish pace laws. Come on, Aden. That must be South African. Kevin Makshop Kanyanta, Kanyanta, let the tournament director give this guy from Tanzania best upcoming player of the tournament. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have an award for that. No, but but he's played really, really well against one of the greats from Africa. But uh, I think you you will recognize him. Yes, doing yes, that. I will. Yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit from Tanzania, quality, quality, quality player. Yeah, he has given a good account of himself, and he has established the sports. It's doable. Sports. It's a fantastic thing. And this is all about humanity. But all in all, uh, uh, Mato, I'm sorry for updating, but just tell us, because we are, there's big matches, so just tell us the, the updates on the other match, the other tables, because you can so, see them on the computer. Uh, Aiden versus uh, Abed is the last match in the round of 64. Okay. 
if Abel Aiden wins, we have a blockbuster round of that two matchup between him and Ibrahim Sejemba from Uganda. Okay, okay. Then uh, on table number three, we have Bwanika Monsur mm -hmm. uh, playing Senyonjo Glorious. Uh, what is Man score? Mansur is leading 3 2 at the moment. Okay. On table number 5, we have Baraka John from Tanzania mm -hmm. playing Melki Zedek, also from Tanzania. Okay. Baraka John is leading 2 0. Okay. Then on table number 6, we have uh, Moses Mofia from Zambia mm -hmm. playing Nobat Kobelo from, from Tanzania. Mo Moses Mafia is uh, leading 7 3 at the moment. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Only needs two more to go into the round of the 16. I think. I think after Victor the Buffalo was eliminated, he's taking uh, the mantle of the Zambia's flag now. Yes, yes. Uh, because people expected more uh, Buffalo Victor to be the to top, move, to top, be top gun player. from Zambia. But remember, uh, one on one, yeah. I've but watched they, also the... have, they have someone else in uh, Kayombo Kawila, okay. currently playing on, tambo, uh, on table four against the Kenyan Daniel Pasio. Okay. Yes. What, what is the score there? It's just started, it's still nil nil. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Director. Thank you, Director of the Tournament. We really appreciate you. You're doing so much work. You don't even sleep in the last four days. I do sleep for three hours a day. <laughs> for the love of sport. Yes. Remember, sports is all about humanity. Sport unites us. Sports makes us. It's an equalizer. It makes us all equal. Adam Joseph on the table. And then Joseph on the table. We told you this can be a ghost sometimes. He's almost unleashing the ghost. 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 This is Adin Joseph, top African player. The South Africans have, have awoken himself. The South Africans are now making so much noise. The Tanzanians are quiet. Good shot, good shot, good shot. I'm telling you people, this is massive. We told you people. This, this is a ghost. But here we are. He's up against a unique upcoming top player, Abedi. Abed from Tanzania. And apparently, I, I suppose, he's from Zanzibar. Playing very well, giving a good account of himself. Fantastic shots, good quality control. The cue, the cue ball. I'm telling you, I'm watching this guy play. I've, Massive experience in the game. I've played this game for about 35 years. This is a style they're making in a bit from Tanzania, specifically Zambia. I mean, sorry, Zanzibar. This guy is a new East African talent. Caesar, that's what. Dola. City from Kenya. Watch this guy. This could be a danger to you people in the future. Do you have a circuit there? You want to check it out? We are this one. 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 Is it long enough? I remove the charger. We are this one. <laughs> mambo Mambo probably from Zimbabwe is saying we are ruling out my county Zimbabwe remember we still have Sakala and Malova oh thank you for reminding us we almost I almost forgot those are top Sakala top player Malova top player so this thing it's becoming very interesting it's be hard it could go either way but all we are just saying we are saying 
contenders, top contenders. You said Mafia from Zambia will be a top contender. <laughs> So, all right, all right. Just sorting one or two things in the gadget, and then we shall be right back. <laughs> I tell you, the few South Africans, they're making more noise than the many Tanzanians. It's quite interesting. So now, it's about languages. Chobe, now it's about languages. Kiswahili has gone a little bit low. English is gone up. The South Africans are speaking English. <laughs> the Tanzanians are speaking Kiswahili. <laughs> oh no! This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Right in the heart of Nairobi City, Mchana Papana Grill, obviously the prestige, is telling you it's getting more interesting, more interesting. And remember, these guys, whoever wins will qualify to the last 32. So still big, big matches. Big, big matches. Big matches. Big matches. And remember, whoever wins here will meet Ibra from Uganda. So it's massive going forward. Let me see the flow chart. Oh, the ghost, the ghost, the ghost. A ghost is a ghost. A ghost is a ghost. And then Joseph is unleashing the ghost. What? Why are you laughing at chairman? What I'm saying, the sponsor, the boss, the owner of this place, chairman is playing Dog City. Remember, chairman is around 53 years old. Dog City, how old is Dog City? How old is Dog City? Maybe 21, 22. So, it's me age. Youth against old. Youth against the old. It will be against a bit elder against a young man, a promising man. That game will be interesting exactly 10 o'clock. Wagaba Rashid, Atki, the Dog City will be playing against the person who has even all this money, the, the sponsor of this tournament. The sponsor, the boss, the owner of Michana Papan Grill, Chairman. He's also a very fantastic player. But he'll be playing against the equal of his son in Dog City. So I think the dogs who let the dog out who 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 who, who let the out oh no oh no back to this frame i thought he will put that one but uh i wish this guy should not let and then joseph the gap shouldn't be that big because let not and then just go to the roll he just uh, in my opinion i wish he could go for a break I will. I wish he could go for a timeout. The Tanzanian Abid needs this. He needs to go for the timeout. In my opinion, he should go for the timeout. This is the right time, so that he can rediscover. He can in himself. He needs. He needs. He needs to go for a break. And after this frame, in my opinion, if he doesn't go for a timeout, it might turn against him. Because he needs a timeout. He needs a timeout. He needs a timeout. He needs a timeout. Oh no. Fantastic shot from Aden Joseph. That's a good recovery because it was very tight. But I'm telling you, the heat is too much. This Tanzania. Promising player should go for a timeout. 
Mato, I think this is the right time to go timeout after this frame. He has to go for the timeout. Yes. Okay. He needs to take a breather. Yeah, he's lost four frames in a row. Yes. He needs to stop this trot. Exactly. Yes. He needs to rediscover himself. So in my opinion, I think he needs a break after this frame. I hope his advisors, his technical team, will fail and think that way. But it's our opinion, it's our perspective. Maybe he has another one. Oh, look at that, look at that. A ghost is a ghost. A ghost is a ghost. You can only cheer after he has played. After he has played. Just taken the captain and the director to intervene. After he's played, then you can cheer. this environment is so ecstatic the environment is so hot I'm sweating where I am. I'm actually sweating where I am. I'm sweating. Oh, he's a snooker. So, let's see how I'm going to place the table. This man and Jesus. Let's see. Let's see that shot. Oh! One man army. It's a ghost in this house, Eden. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Hey, Mato, tournament director. Un it's a ghost. Un Why did you put ghost in the tournament? It's a ghost. He's superhuman. This is a ghost. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Abedi from Tanzania has a chance. He has a big chance against the ghost. He has to do it. He has to. So uh, probably, most likely, he'll play safety. Or probably, he will play. He'll put one or two balls or three balls, and then he's on red, maybe, and then he do a safety. But it's very interesting. Uh, but sometimes, going for the finish will be the better option. But let's see. He has a strategy. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. I love this guy from Tanzania. He knows he's up against the ghost, but he's giving a good account of himself. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. And I think that could be a killer shot against the ghost. But let's see. It's becoming hot. It's becoming very ecstatic here. Comments. Oh! oh no! <laughs> I'm getting out of this place. There's a ghost in this house. Mato, there's a ghost in this house. Young lady, don't you think there's a ghost in this house? There is a ghost in this house. I can feel it. Oh no! I'm scared. We need a ghostbuster. Ghostbuster and probably Caesar. Caesar is watching. Caesar, we need a Ghostbuster. Caesar man, be ready. Monday, the Ghostbuster. Oh! 
first spot is going to be at Chana Urban Bill tomorrow from 4 p.m. Wait, who? The PS Ministry of Sports. Oh, just to let you know, the PS Ministry of Sports. We expect top, top uh, East African leaders Visitors. to watch this. It, they'll be watching. Actually, Capsaret MP Oscar Sudi was scheduled to play in the Shujawa, Kenya. Mm on Thursday, but he's currently with the president in the U.S. That's why he wasn't able yeah. to come. Remember, uh, the, the, the MP, the member of parliament, in, cha in charge of sports, which is uh, uh, Mr. Jalango, was here yesterday. That's Kenyan, Kenyan version. And he, he was really concerned. He said, this pool, it's not about alcohol, it's not about the bar. This pool has potential to bring transformation. To bring to bring earnings to the young people, to the young people, to the young players, to the young ladies and girls. So they're concerned because they say they didn't get uh, enough corporate sponsorship for this tournament. It's just an individual giving his money. So they say going forward, they'll change the rules in the parliament, Kenya parliament, to make it a confirmed sport. It must be in the act. It must be in the rules. It must be the constitution that. Pool must be recognized. He's going for a skill shot. Skill shot. Sk oh! I'm telling you, I'm sorry. Sometimes I get excited. But it's this. This is it. But going forward, I was saying, I talk about the Kenyan leadership, the government, senior government official, the permanent secretary. Uh, we are expecting the Minister for Sports here tomorrow. So it will be a game changer because remember, East Africa, they share the budget days together. East Africa, remember, is bilateral uh, cooperation. East Africa, remember, we are brothers and sisters. And East Africa is about Burundi, it's about New Congo, it's about Rwanda, it's about Tanzania, it's about Kenya. I'm telling you, we have to work in harmony. The rules must support all of us. He'll put that ball in the center. I think this will be a, this will be a center pocket. What do you think? Mato, this is a center. This is a center pocket. I need more no, can cut it in. Oh, you want it's to cut thin, it in there? It's thin, but it can go in. Oh, the tournament director tells me it's a thin. If, if, can he, cut it. if he leaves it, hmm. Abed's red is near the pocket, so he's hmm. probably get position. Okay. So let's wait. He cuts do it. Okay. Shot it's a do or die shot for him. For then to save the ghost. And it's, it's oh! oh! I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, now it's hot. The ghosts are out. But here we are, a promising player, young player from Tanzania, Zanzibar Island. He's giving a, a good account of himself. Putting up a good show against the ghosts from South Africa and then Joseph, top player in Africa. What do we do? We can only wish may the best player win. We will do two matches on three tomorrow. But at 10 a.m., so that we can control the crowd. We have very, very hot matches in the round of, round of 32. Computer, Caesar, Aiden Ibra. Computer is taking on Caesar. Oh, oh, black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, yeah. Oh, computer is taking on. Uh, computer is taking on. Uh, let me see. Computer is taking on. Uh, Damien. Computer versus Damien. <laughs> I want it to be played here, yes. The uh, last match on this. We, Chobe Life. We have Caesar and uh, Chobe Life. Caesar and Black my, here. My friend. Then Damien. My namesake. Uh, computer here. I'm telling you, my then comrade. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't believe what's going on here. Oh no. Oh, the, the Tanzanian, apparently. He's being ghosted. Apparently, Tanzanian is slowing down on his confidence. And I said it, I said it, I can carry a Bible. He needs to have a timeout. He's, he's right, he needs a timeout. Why can't he go for the timeout?
I've got so many experience. I've played this game for over 35 years. I can tell you, this is late. He has to go for the timeout. He has to do it. Why can't he take his time out? Because he needs to take a breather. Because now uh, the ghost is now unleashing maximum terror on him. And the guy looks shaken. He's not playing his game. He's not cutting anymore. If they take one hour each, yeah? But why? Take the break. Take that date. From Tanzania, I beg you. Maybe you can hear me through diffusion. Maybe you can hear me through osmosis. But I'm telling you, please, you need a break. You have to get a break. You might, it might be the game changer. It might be the game changer. It might be the game changer. Uh, Chobe Live. Chobe Live. Please, just update us on the upcoming blockbusters. I, uh, I saw you talking to the director of the tournament. Let's go. Thank you, Peter. I've just been informed by the tournament director. Lots of action coming up in the round of 16. Black Sheep taking on Caesar. Another big one between two players of the same country. Damien versus Computer. Those players are very, very similar. Simon, Simon Lobolua. Simon Lobolua. Lobolua. They have a very similar game. And it can go either way. And, it, it, and they uh, both like to go for the game and both like to entertain. It will be very, very good. And then whoever wins this game may be Eden. And the match is starting at all time. All those matches are happening tonight. Tonight. Let me tell you, Chobe Life. I thought I would go back to my wife to sleep. But now, here we are. Blockbuster, blockbuster. I hope my wife forgives me. I hope my wife forgives me. <laughs> Please ask your wife. To, we have to watch the live. She will also love pool, and there she will forgive you. There's nothing to do. There after, the tournament director will figure out whether Aiden and Ibra will play tonight. Let me tell you something. But at least they know they are going to see. This is the tournament director. This is the tournament director. Versus Black Sheep, following up after Aiden's match is over. Immediately after that, this match, Caesar plays Black Sheep. Uganda versus Uganda. East Africa versus East Africa. Africa versus Africa. The world versus the world. It's going to be very interesting. Black Sheep against Caesar. Next, after this. Uh, Chobe Live. In my opinion, I can only say, I can only thank the Almighty God for making me alive at this time. We have to thank God. And we have to pray tomorrow. Yes. Exactly. 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 History is in the making. It's in the making. It's massive. It's massive. It's hot here. South Africans are making noise. Tanzanians are quiet now. I think. Oh! Let's see. I think this is an opportunity for the Tanzanian. This is a big opportunity for the Tanzanian. A big opportunity to the Tanzanian. Oh, stop. Oh, the stroking is nice. This guy is. He's a new talent in East Africa. Look at the strokes. Look at just that. Easy. Easy. And sure, look at that. Oh, a little, a little unfortunate. A little unfortunate. So he, give, he gives Adam Joseph a chance to, if he doesn't put that ball, he put that ball and he position the cue ball for a skill shot here. And Adam Joseph, talking about skill shot, Adam Joseph, one of the best in skill shots. Lovely shot from the Tanzanian. What a shot from the Tanzanian. Oh, what a moment to be alive. What a moment to be alive. We told you, you said, when the Tanzanian played that shot, definitely. This one now is going its way. Good account of himself. Oh! Top player. Top, top player. One Ethiopian in the house. STV is, next, is, is going to the next round. So, 
STV, in your opinion, what do you say STV is a immediate company of your, you must say this thing, you are a top player, you are going to the last 32, but this game is too hot, oh, you are last in 32, what do you say, uh, STV, top player from Ethiopia? Yeah, so I can see a really amazing pool here, okay. these two gentlemen are entertaining us. As we all know, Eden Joseph is the ghost okay. and he's 7-5 uh, leading, he just need two more. Mm. So I just want to wish for the both players Before all the best. Before you continue, yeah. Yeah. this guy, nobody knew him, the guy that bid from Tanzania. Yes. The way he's playing, he looks like uh, in the future he'll be very dangerous playing yeah, in South Africa. Yeah, of course, of course. You, you can tell from the way he's playing. Okay. Actually, we can. I can say like, uh, if if uh, the pressure is not there, you can for sure you can tell like this guy can play much better pool than what he's doing right I'm, now. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. I was discussing with Chobe Live, my friend. I was just telling him tactically, yeah. tactically, uh, this guy a bit from Tanzania. He needed to go for for a timeout because it is right. You need to go for a timeout. But I think timeout could have helped him a little bit. Or do you think he doesn't need a timeout? Uh, I, I, I don't think it's the right time to call a timeout. I know he's... he's uh, no, but he's, he's I'm saying he has, he, he has delayed, but he needed to go for timeout early. Yeah, I mean, if you feel like, you know, you need you need a break, like you can, you can take his timeout, but the way, as you can see, both players are playing amazing pool. Mm. Even if uh, the Tanzanian guy is... Uh, like five seven down but you can tell like his his game is still there and he's still fighting for it so mm -hmm. anything can happen we can't say like Eden Joseph is winning this because yeah. until until it's over it's not over so the guy is still there he's fighting for, uh, for his uh, yeah for his winnings but I hope I hope I, I just wish for both players all the best may the best player win but uh, it looks like Eden Joseph has this one, but you can't tell until it's over. Okay. That is STV, Silvan Estel, Estel Fanon from Ethiopia. He's already, he's a top player from Ethiopia. He's already qualified for the last 32. So he's just giving his opinion, he's giving his perspectives, and I think they're valid. He has a lot of experience. I wish you could see the way he controls the table. The cue ball. This guy is dangerous. The Ethiopian. He's one of the contenders for the tournament. But here we are. Aden Joseph scratched. This guy is remaining with an unfinishable frame. This table, he can run it out. He can run it out. He can run it out. Let's see. He has to with his quality. I don't. I wish he doesn't do the snooker. He doesn't need the snooker. He just need to go for the finish. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. One shot at a time. One shot at a time. I believe also in fair play. But this was a rap for him. Look where the black ball is. The black ball is in the center. And here we are. Overthinking. Overthinking. Thinking too much. Sometimes you just need to do one shot at a time. Now look. Oh no. It's not even a snooker. It's... And then Yosef is seeing that ball. The two balls. And then Yosef might do a ghostly shot. And that's what we're avoiding. He should just go for the finish. Just attack the game and finish. Because it's within his capability. It was within his capacity. Man, look at this. Oh, he has another chance. He has another chance. He now has to do it. He has to do it now. If not now, it must be now. Oh no, oh no, I'm seeing a lot while I'm alive, look at that, he's just giving the ghost a chance, 
And I'm telling you, Alan Yosef will not forgive him. Alan Yosef will not forgive him this one. Alan Yosef will be eight. A bit from Tanzania will be five. I can tell you for free. Alan Yosef, look at that shot. Look at that shot. I told you. I told you. I told you people. I told you people. I told you people. Oh, look at that. I'm telling you, this is a ghost. This is a real ghost. The Tanzanians are quiet. <laughs> Some of our comments joining us here, our friends, our followers, they're asking, which side am I? I'm not on any side. Technically, I should be on on the side of the Tanzania because it's a fellow East Africa. This East Africa plug, this East Africa theme, uh, anthem. I should be supporting, but I can't. I'm a commentator. I must be neutral. But all is all a good shot. It's a good shot. Some of the shots Adam Joseph has done here. Any, any pool lover, anybody who plays pool will not stop to, to acknowledge. Some of the shots were massive, massive, massive shots. They are out of this world. But here we are. Remember, Adam Joseph is from South Africa. He's from Africa. Abid is from Tanzania. He's from Africa. It's massive. It's massive. It's very hot. I'm just seeing a friend of mine. He just joined us in from the Whiskey River Pool Club along Kiambu Road. He's a top pool player as well. Oh! Abid has a chance. Abid has a chance. He must, he must do this. He must clear this thing. Because he only has one, one chance to move to six. Because if he leaves this frame, Adam Joseph will wrap it up. It will be Adam Joseph nine. And it's a race to nine. So far, a bit from Tanzania five, Adam Joseph eight. I don't just have on the table. What a shot. And, and Joseph most likely will play that shot and use it as shot to remove the black from where the black is to make it more playable in case he finishes his, his balls. But let's wait and see. If he plays that shot just directly in the, into the camera, I'm very sure he'll, he has to touch the black so that black can move probably into the center. But let's see. Let's see how he does it. Let's see. This is a ghost. 
And remember, possibility of a scratch is also there. You could play that ball, touch the black, and the black will scratch. So it's interesting. Oh, he's decided to play safe. Yeah. But he's right because there are possibilities where the black ball can go in. You can either do a skill shot against these two yellows, or you can cut it right into this pocket next to the camera. But let's see. Still around two problem balls for him to deal, the, the red balls. Let's see how he manipulates the table. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. No, 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 no. What talent is this? This is raw talent. This is raw talent. This is raw talent from Adam Joseph. In the beginning, I think this guy almost surprised him. But as I said earlier, I'm opinion. After the, this guy from Tanzania was on a roll, he needed to, to have his constitutional right the timeout. It could have been a game changer. The timeout could have been could have been a, could have been a game changer. I don't know why he didn't use it. But here the game is one frame to go for Adam Joseph. Four frames to go for a bit from Tanzania, Zanzibar, that is. Oh! And Joseph just misses that. And this guy has a big chance to pull one back. He has a big chance. So far, so good. Oh, good, good one. Good shot from a bit from Tanzania. Good shot. Apparently, the Tanzanians are quiet. The South Africans are also quiet. I don't know what's going on. It's very interesting. Interesting. Look at that. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. This guy has real talent. This is one of the future of East Africa, Mr. Bate from Tanzania, from Zanzibar, rather, is a future in East Africa. Ibra, be careful. Caesar, watch out. Mansu, watch out. Skasuzi, watch out. Dula, watch out. City from Kenya, watch out. Oh no, good shot. Oh, a rap. This is a rap. I bet you will pull one out. I bet you will pull it up. It will be six, eight. Tanzania 6, South Africa 8. Emanesson, Guti, you're saying, may the organizers of this tournament recognize Tanzania guy. Certainly, I've talked to the company director. We must, I'm the MC as well for this tournament. So we'll have to acknowledge his quality. We have to acknowledge his resilience. We have to acknowledge his brilliance. We shall do that, certainly. Tafrazon, Chip and Say, Ishmo, what to, how about the Scorpion? Scorpion is playing. Uh, let me consult. Chobelai, what time is Scorpion playing? Immediately, Immediately after this, Caesar is playing against Sheep, the Black Sheep, my friend from Uganda. So it will be Black Sheep against Caesar right after this.
Kesho CB, Mr. Arigan, watching from Kisumu, Komeko the Sharks, one of our best pool places in the country, Komeko the Sharks, right in the heart of Kisumu City. Very good idea. Nico Shikoni, Mandesela, you say we need to work on tournaments as Africa where the spectators are seated far from the table. Very important. But this was, I don't know, just what happened in the beginning. The Tanzania believed they'll, they'll, they'll really, really, really uh, go for this. And apparently, Aden Joseph picked up himself. And uh, uh, I think now I can, you can see the crowds are a bit less. They've gone because the Mafia is playing that side. Zambia are playing that side. Uh, there's a, there's a, some Ugandan man who is playing that side. So people have gone to other tables because they've seen, they've seen enough of the ghost. I think so. Because this one, I don't think the ghost will leave it. There's no way the ghost can, can, can lose three frames in a row. I don't think so in this situation. And I can see the break. This is finishable for Adam Yosef. But let's see. Ismail Methwa. <laughs> oh, what, a, what an interesting comment. Ismail Methwa, what an interesting comment. <laughs> I know him, he's a good pool player. Very good pool player. But now he's, a, he's an old man now. Yes. Yes, uh, Ismail, but we, are, we are waiting for you in Nairobi. We are waiting for you in Nairobi. Chobe Live, why can't you welcome Ismail Mutia to come, come. African legend, Ish, 2014 African champion. You are welcome to Nairobi. Your friends are here waiting for you from the Ugandans, the Tanzanians. They want to have some games with you. Thank you, Ishmael. Here we are. Oh, the game is gone. The game is gone. The game is gone. The game is gone. It's a wrap. Aden Joseph will meet certainly, most likely, will meet Ibra tonight. Aden Joseph will meet Ibra in the next round. Aden Joseph versus Ibra. What a book blaster in the making. Both players, top, top quality. It could go either way. Job alive. It's been a privilege. This is Poj from Kenya, partnering with my namesake, Peter. Chobe from Uganda. We are all friends. We are all East Africa. We are all East Africa. We are all brothers. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Keep the comments flowing. Where we make mistakes, please correct us. Where we do well. Where we do well. Just tell us. But ultimately, sports wins. Pool wins. Sports unite us. Sport. Equalizes is the top equalizer. Sports, it's all about humanity. It's the love of the game. We love it. I never, if there was no pool, if there was no sport, I didn't, I wouldn't have met a good friend from, from Uganda in Chobe Life. I wouldn't have known so many people. I wouldn't have known Mansu. I wouldn't have known 
Dola, I wouldn't have known STV from Ethiopia. I wouldn't have known Senzo from Africa. But because of sports, now I know them. Now they're my friends. They're my fellow human beings. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I think Caesar next against... Huh? <laughs>